The deep ocean waters of the Gulf of California include varied and complex habitats. During a recent expedition to the Gulf, researchers from the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute discovered a new field of hydrothermal vents, the deepest yet identified in the Gulf. Something strange has risen from the depths of the Gulf of California, something no one expected. It all began with what should have been a routine undersea mapping mission, a simple academic expedition looking to update seafloor data. But what the team uncovered has left experts stunned and theories spiraling. At first, it was just a faint blip, barely distinguishable from the background noise. But as the scans sharpened, it became clear this wasn't an ordinary seafloor formation. There were sharp angles where there should be slopes, heat where it should be cold, and evidence of something buried deep that shouldn't be there at all. In this video, we're diving headfirst into the mystery emerging from the Gulf of California. We'll break down the shocking discovery, examine the science behind it, and explore the potentially earth-shattering implications it might carry, not just for Mexico, but for the entire planet. But first, ask yourself, what if something ancient, something powerful, has been sleeping beneath these waters all along and is only now beginning to stir? The symmetrical enigma beneath the gulf. During a sonar sweep along the seafloor near the Guaymas Basin, researchers detected something unusual, a structure almost perfectly circular in shape, concealed beneath layers of marine sediment. What stood out wasn't just the symmetry, it was the density. The formation reflected sonar in ways typical geological materials don't. It appeared solid, layered, and even segmented, more like a manufactured object than a natural one. One geophysicist on the team described it as a buried fortress of stone and heat. Initial thoughts leaned toward a long forgotten volcano or a collapsed carbonate shelf, but the dimensions were all wrong. The walls were too smooth, the edges too precise. As submersibles captured footage, questions mounted. Was this a new type of undersea formation or something much older, much stranger? The submersibles recorded detailed scans showing a multi-tiered layout, suggesting inner chambers or layers beneath the outer shell. Even more intriguing was the material's acoustic signature, highly reflective, yet lacking the porousness of standard limestone or basalt. Some parts rang like metallic alloys under sonar pulse, causing researchers to suspect an unknown composite material. In certain cross-sections of the imaging data, a subtle helix-like pattern was noted, spiraling downward from the central point of the structure. This spiral didn't match any known volcanic pipe or salt dome and hinted at something more engineered in form. As the team lowered instruments to take temperature and magnetic readings, anomalies began to stack up, fluctuating magnetic fields, unaccounted for density pockets, and odd echo distortions that suggested hollows or internal voids. Experts began speculating whether the structure could be a buried impact anomaly, the remnant of a meteor strike with post-impact crystallization, or possibly a massive hydrothermal chimney system unlike anything previously recorded. Some even went so far as to suggest it might be tectonically displaced material from deep within Earth's mantle, thrust upward during an ancient and violent upheaval event. As more teams reviewed the data, interest ballooned. What started as a simple mapping project was now drawing attention from international geophysical consortiums and funding bodies. The question on everyone's mind, was this the beginning of a discovery that could challenge the very framework of undersea geology? Deep heat, strange tremors, and an unseen force. Then came the temperature readings. Thermal scanners picked up something nobody anticipated. Deep, 
concentrated hot spots beneath the structure. There were no known magma flows here, no hydrothermal vent systems listed in prior surveys. Even more concerning, the hot spots pulsed on a cycle, as though the Earth itself were breathing. Low frequency rumbles followed, ones that didn't register on conventional seismographs. The vibrations were faint, irregular, but unmistakable. Instruments deployed to monitor these pulses revealed a recurring rhythmic pattern. Heat intensity surged every 7.3 hours, accompanied by fluctuations in localized magnetic fields. This timing baffled researchers, as it didn't correlate with known tidal forces or geothermal cycles. Seismologists ran 3D simulations of the vibration paths, only to discover something even stranger. The points of origin for the tremors seemed to be moving. Rather than a fixed source, the activity migrated slowly along a curved line deep beneath the seafloor, suggesting either a creeping subsurface rupture or a shifting plume of molten material. Some scientists believe they've uncovered a dormant geothermal system, perhaps one that's reawakening. Others propose a more alarming scenario, that we're witnessing the birth of a new fault system. If correct, this could mean the Gulf's crust is undergoing a fundamental transformation one capable of unleashing powerful seismic events. Adding another layer of mystery, gas sensors picked up faint but consistent traces of helium-3, a rare isotope typically linked to the Earth's mantle or even extraterrestrial sources. It could also fracture undersea infrastructure, disrupt ecosystems, and alter regional tectonic stability. The Gulf of California, already a zone of continental rifting, might be sitting atop a geological mechanism that is only just awakening. Markings that shouldn't exist. When high-resolution imaging was run over the dome's surface, it revealed something even more bizarre. Striations, etched patterns, running parallel and diagonal across the visible rock face. At first, these lines were dismissed as natural erosion but further analysis showed geometric repetition, intersecting angles, and mirrored designs. A marine archaeologist brought in for consultation likened them to symbolic carvings, similar to those found in ancient Mesoamerican ceremonial sites. The grooves varied in depth and width, but seemed to follow a deliberate logic, forming crosshatch grids in some places and sweeping curves in others. High-resolution overlays revealed that some of these markings form complete repeating sequences, almost like patterns seen in early symbolic languages. Satellite-based topography tools applied to 3D models of the surface exposed alignment to cardinal directions, adding to speculation that this was no random accident of geology. When ultraviolet light imaging was applied, Several sections emitted faint fluorescence, something unexpected and difficult to explain without the presence of trace elements often associated with worked stone or artificially altered surfaces. This phenomenon, along with microfracture analysis, led some materials scientists to suggest that the markings may have been created with intentional force, perhaps by tools or some lost form of advanced shaping. Some fringe theorists went further, drawing connections between the linear grooves and ancient maps or calendars used by civilizations like the Zapotec and the Olmec. While this connection remains speculative and hotly debated, the visual similarity has reignited global interest in submerged archaeology and lost coastal cultures. Could this structure be more than a geological fluke? Could it be a forgotten temple? Long buried by tectonic forces and submerged over millennia, its carvings surviving as a silent testament to a vanished culture? Or is it a case of nature imitating design, with the sea sculpting something that only looks deliberate? For now, the mystery remains just below the waves, etched into stone and waiting to be understood. Unfamiliar minerals and impossible pressures Samples taken from boreholes drilled into the structure shocked material scientists. Mixed into the rock were high-pressure minerals like majorite and bridgmanite, substances typically formed deep in Earth's mantle 
or in impact craters. But these materials shouldn't be here, not in the upper crust, and certainly not under a shallow marine basin like the Gulf of California. These minerals are known to crystallize only under extreme pressure and temperature, conditions found far beneath Earth's surface or in the aftermath of planetary-scale collisions. Their presence this close to the surface defies all known geological processes in the region. In addition to majorite and bridgmanite, spectrographic scans detected hints of wustite, ringwoodite, and stichovite, minerals usually linked to either mantle plumes or asteroid impacts. Some of these materials were laced with microvesicles, tiny gas pockets that often form during rapid cooling after an intense energy release. This detail has pushed some scientists toward the impact hypothesis. Even more puzzling were the isotopic readings. Ratios of certain rare isotopes did not match typical Earth profiles, raising the possibility of a meteoric origin. In fact, some of the isotopic configurations were nearly identical to samples retrieved from known carbonaceous chondrites, primitive meteorites believed to predate the Earth itself. Could this structure be the scar of an ancient asteroid impact, one so old it was hidden by shifting plates and marine sediment? Perhaps even a double impact event where a secondary collision reshaped the original crater, creating the bizarre dome-like geometry we see today? Or could it be the remnant of an even more violent event, something we haven't even categorized in our geological record. Some have speculated about ancient mantle plumes erupting with such force, they pierced through Earth's crust and left behind chemically unique rock columns fused with elements from both deep Earth and outer space. If true, the Gulf of California may not just be the site of a rare anomaly, it could be a geological Rosetta Stone revealing processes we have only begun to understand. A cataclysmic past buried in plain sight. If the age estimates are correct, this formation could be tens of millions of years old, possibly dating back to the Eocene epoch. That puts it in line with a mysterious period of warming and extinction that geologists still struggle to explain. During this epoch, Earth experienced a sudden spike in global temperatures and the disappearance of numerous marine species, events which still lack a definitive trigger. Could this be the smoking gun? A hidden impact site responsible for cascading environmental collapse. The size, shape, and mineral composition of the formation suggests that it could be a long-buried remnant of a cataclysmic impact event, one violent enough to alter global climate systems and ocean chemistry. If proven, it might explain the abrupt extinction spikes and biogeochemical shifts of that era. Taken together, these clues point to more than just a local disruption. They imply a global catastrophe with long-term climatic consequences. If confirmed, the Gulf of California site could represent one of the missing links in the puzzle of Earth's mass extinctions, an ancient disaster that reshaped not only the seafloor, but the future of life on this planet. Echoes of life around the anomaly. While the structure itself has dominated headlines, biologists are paying close attention to what's around it. Strange microbial colonies have been found living in the sediment directly above the anomaly. Organisms that metabolize unusual compounds, including sulfur and arsenic. These microbes seem perfectly adapted to an environment that most life forms would find hostile, indicating a high degree of evolutionary specialization. Initial genomic analysis of these life forms revealed several unclassified DNA sequences, leading some researchers to suggest that they may represent entirely new branches on the tree of life. A few of these species lack key metabolic pathways typical of known extremophiles. Instead, relying on unique energy conversion processes that scientists are only beginning to understand. These include the ability to process rare metal ions and derive energy from deep chemical gradients likely linked to geothermal activity. Some of these life forms resemble extremophiles found near deep sea vents, but a few are unlike anything cataloged before. Fluorescent microscopy has uncovered cell structures 
that are unusually resistant to pressure and heat, structures that could offer new insights into the biochemical limits of life. There's even speculation that these species may have evolved in isolation, perhaps fed by a hidden geothermal energy source for millions of years, sustained by mineral-rich upwellings from deep within Earth's crust. Further studies have suggested the presence of larger, multicellular organisms feeding on these microbial mats. These include peculiar tube-dwelling worms and slow-moving, translucent invertebrates that may represent entirely undocumented species. If verified, this ecosystem could rival the biodiversity seen in hydrothermal vent systems and cold seeps, and it may be just as ecologically significant. Could the heat, minerals, and energy surrounding the structure be fueling an ecosystem we never knew existed? And if so, what might it teach us about survival, both on Earth and elsewhere? The implications for astrobiology are immense. If life can thrive in such an extreme, isolated pocket of our own planet, it opens the door to the possibility that similar ecosystems could exist beneath the icy crusts of Europa, Enceladus, or even within the subsurface oceans of distant exoplanets. Implications that change everything. This isn't just a curiosity for marine scientists. If the structure is confirmed to be the result of a deep impact, it could reshape our models of extinction, evolution, and plate dynamics. The implications could be staggering. It may serve as a reference point for understanding how asteroid collisions affect marine geology and global biodiversity patterns. Furthermore, if sediment displacement or mineral anomalies from this structure can be tied to global extinction events, textbooks may need rewriting. If it's geothermal in nature, it could redefine Mexico's future in energy development. The structure may indicate a previously unrecognized geothermal hotspot, an energy source that could potentially be harnessed for clean, renewable power. With global energy markets turning towards sustainable solutions, the Gulf of California could become a focal point for green investment and innovation. Engineers have already expressed interest in deploying remote geothermal extraction technologies to test the heat signatures emanating from the anomaly. And if it's archeological, it could rewrite history. Preliminary scans of the site have stirred intense debate about the possibility of a lost civilization. Some suggest the structure might predate known cultures in the region, which could fundamentally shift our understanding of early human development in the Americas. Linguists and anthropologists have begun analyzing the alleged symbolic carvings found on the dome's surface, cross-referencing them with early Mesoamerican iconography. Already, theories are flying. Some experts are calling it the Atlantis of the Pacific. Others urge restraint, warning against overinterpretation. Mainstream institutions are advising a careful, data-driven approach, but independent researchers are speculating openly about submerged temples, ancient cataclysms, or even lost technologies. The scientific community is split, excited, but cautious. But one thing is clear, what's been found in the Gulf of California is real. The depths are whispering. The Gulf of California has always been a place of mystery, split by tectonic tension and home to some of the world's most biologically rich waters. But now, it's offering up something entirely new, something that doesn't just spark questions, it demands answers. As more data is gathered and the mystery unfolds, one thing is certain, we're looking at a discovery that will fuel debate, research, and imagination for years to come. So. What do you think this is? A meteorite scar? A volcanic relic? The ruins of a lost civilization? Let us know in the comments below. We want to hear your theories. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more stories that shake the foundations of what we think we know about Earth. Hit the bell icon because what's rising from the deep is only getting started. Stay curious, stay skeptical, and always keep looking beneath the surface.